Just yesterday, San Diego County announced it is dropping vaccination and testing requirements for county employees. Now with COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations down, could pandemic restrictions be dropped elsewhere? Thanks for joining us. This is the nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. So just yesterday, San Diego County announced it was ending testing requirements for unvaccinated workers and vaccination requirements for new hires. Those go into effect, by the way, on April the 4th. Earlier this week, 791 city workers were granted vaccine exemptions. Now questions are emerging on whether we will see masks going away soon at airports. CEOs of all major U.S. airlines asked President Biden to lift mask mandates and testing for international travelers. Here's what some travelers had to tell us. How many times have you heard about someone having a cold on a flight and then everyone getting that cold? So I don't mind it personally. Uh, I'd rather be a little bit safer. With these 95 masks, it's really hard for me to breathe. So you want them to lift this? Oh, yeah. I mean, they made us get our shots. I got the boosters. I got the shot. Then I went home and took three more shots. Mass mandates on airplanes are set to expire April the 18th. It's unclear if testing and vaccine requirements could return here in the county in the event of another surge. As vaccine requirements do change for county employees, county health officials are starting to see, though, more cases of the Omicron subvariant, also known as BA.2. We have recently seen surges of the variant in parts of Europe and Asia, so we asked local health experts, could a surge happen here? Yeah, so there's good news and bad news. So the uh, bad news is that the virus has evolved and whenever the virus evolves enough to, for you and I to start talking on TV, it means that it has become uh, more infectious. UCSD infectious disease chief Davy Smith says the new variant is slightly more infectious but does not appear to be more deadly. The county has detected 140 confirmed BA.2 cases as of today. Smith says the best thing we can do is be vigilant. There is a new fallout tonight from last year's cyber attack on Scripps Health. It turns out more people may have been impacted than originally thought or reported. A letter was sent on March 15th advising some patients that compromised documents might have included names and addresses, birth dates and health insurance information. Scripps Health offered no comment on the letter. A spokesperson told NBC7 that they continue to enhance their information security systems and monitoring capabilities. As we watch the devastation unfolding in Ukraine, there are ways to help from here. UC San Diego alum, originally from Ukraine, is raising hundreds of thousands of dollars to help her home country. The reality is that Ukrainians are still lacking very basic gear and we're not providing any weapons. We're just providing things that people can wear. UC San Diego graduate Nina Saperstein came to America from Ukraine as a teenager. She says many of her friends returned to Ukraine to fight. She was considering that too, but chose to stay and help raise money for military gear with the hopes of protecting children in the conflict. If you take the North County Transit District buses for your daily commute, you might notice some new changes in your route. The district tells us they are experiencing a shortage of bus drivers, and as a result, they have to eliminate some stops on several routes. You can find the new schedule on NCTD's website. And officials also say this weekend's schedule will not change, neither will the first and last scheduled trip of any day. So at least there's that. Before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. We have an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our streaming app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. I'm Mark Mullen. Thanks for watching. That's a nightly check-in. Have a good night.